Hey everybody, this is Heartless Spartan here with another 1-6 scale Toy Talk review. Today I have the Acemus Toys Crown Series Lord of the Rings Gandalf the White and Shadowfax figure box set. Now this box is very large and has some weight to it, much of that having to do with the inclusion of Shadowfax. Now I've been sitting on the set for quite some time now and I've recently seen that it's back up for pre-order with a potential release for August of this year. However, these figures are remarkably and painstakingly handmade and may be delayed for an unknown period of time. But I wanted to do this review because it's still available to order. Let's get into the review. Okay, so let's take a look at Gandalf the White and Shadowfax. Now, this piece that we're looking at here is kind of the box slid out of the other box. I mean, this thing is just massive. That's also because of... Uh, shadow facts being included in that that's kind of most of what that depth is now this piece kind of like slid out of the other box like a shelf it has like a little cloth tab but it's like built into the cardboard and it kind of tugs on the cardboard and it's kind of awkward and i don't think i'd want to do that too many times because like each time it would like weaken the cardboard like the it, like it's built in really well i don't see it like tearing anything out real easy but uh I just wouldn't want to do it more times than I have to. So, with this out, we have this wonderful picture here from the film. Now, that's just kind of uh, put on a piece of foam. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I mean, that's really cool looking. But then we have this underneath. So I think first thing I'm going to want to do is pull this out. Because I do believe this is going to have our Crown Series head sculpt in it. Fancy. Oh, there's no tape. It just wants to be weird about sliding off. There we go. <laughs> I thought I was going to get the sculpt reveal there instead. It's like playing peekaboo in there. Okay. There he is. And even just looking at that through the plastic, that looks amazing. We'll take his head out here, and we'll take a good look at this head sculpt. That looks awesome. And like every hair is added by hand even. Wow. And like the skin detail and everything, that is fantastic. Like, I'm at a loss for words for that. That looks amazing. So I'm going to set him down momentarily. And actually get his body out here so we can put his head sculpt on and take take a look at that. Oh, they already put the cloak on. But uh actually let's take a look at this before I put the head sculpt on so I don't really fuss up the hair or anything. So let's actually slide the cloak off. That should go on fairly easily. We'll take a quick look at that and then look over the body. This almost reminds me of like a, a leather material, but it isn't. But it has that very nice look to it. We got some uh, almost kind of like an elvish style border detailing on there. Just kind of that natural look on there. What do we have here?
Well, that looks cool. I'm not uh, as learned in the lore of Lord of the Rings to be like, oh, that's the thing from the thing. If it is a thing from a thing. Let's see, I think that's the most detail we have on that, but that lo that looks really nice. Then his tunic has this really neat pattern on there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a doily, though. But it looks really nice. And then even his uh, sleeves. It's a little bit harder to see, but that has a pattern on there, too. It looks very nice. I think even his belt has some styling on it as well. Which I think is actually leather, too. Yeah, we're going to have to put his sword on him later. Let's see, and there's an undershirt, too. That's, like, strung together on the inside there. That's pretty cool. And this actually isn't, like, this isn't printed here. This is actually woven. That's nice, and it continues on the back side, too. Oh, that's just kind of a tunic blouse thing or something. I'm not sure what all the parts are called here. Then continues that really nice fabric going all the way down there. Yep, he's got pants on. Confirmed. All right. Then he's got uh, leather boots on. Which is pretty great. And I think Yeah, he's got like the foot like in the boot. Or at least I, I don't know if it's a separate piece, but it's built in, maybe. It's kinda hard to tell. Well I'm glad I don't have to put those on because sometimes tying one one six scale boots is just not something I really feel like doing <laughs> but, uh, this belt is pretty cool too oh I think that's metal nice all right so then let's throw his cloak back on which uh, this part of the hood does have a wire in it to pose that, but I'm just going to have it down. And then we'll pop his head on. But I have to do it without catching his beard. Am I up to the challenge? There we go. I heard the little pop. So much hair, Gandalf. All right. And then just style his hair however you want. There's no... There's apparently no specific way of doing that. There we go. All right, so Ian the White, I mean Gandalf the White, That's not, it's not, it's not face plant. I don't want to ruin that head sculpt. So, I mean, that looks great. And then, of course, you can just always 
sort of part his cloak if you want. Which might take a little bit of finagling to do that. So I'm actually going to lay him down off to the side in the meantime and go through the rest of these accessories. Um, this I appreciate right off the bat are these additional wrist pegs. I'm actually going to pop those back in there so I don't lose those. But before I do the hands, I do want to look at these pieces here. So here we have Glamdring in its scabbard. Which looks fantastic. And it is metal. And it can be a little bit pointy, so be careful. It's not necessarily sharp. It has a little bit of an edge to it, but it's more of the point you have to be worried about. What do we got there? Oh, no way. I can't even, I couldn't even see that at first. But there's like elvish print on there. That is cool. It's like so small that I couldn't even see it at first. Wicked. Or quite the opposite. Righteous? <laughs> then we can see that detail on the blade. That's pretty cool. Glam Dring will slide right back into there. And then there's a certain way of actually putting that onto his belt. Okay, so I kind of referred to the instruction manual already. And it looks like they already did part of it for me? Oddly enough. So then is this supposed to... Slide up into that. And slide down into there. Well, it holds up. I'll just have to take a look at the instruction manual a little bit more in depth in order to check that out. All right, next, we have his wizard staff, which I want to take out very carefully. Which has a nice design to it. I think it's actually painted wood too, but the little uh, top piece I be do believe is like a, a plastic. Still looks really nice though. Gandalf, let's see, he's already got kind of like a uh, 
staff holding hand. I can just go ahead and slide that down his hand there. So that he's holding his staff. Very cool. Alright, so the additional things in this section of our box are his additional hands, which again, Acemas, thank you for including additional wrist pegs. Like the uh, accusatory pointing finger. <laughs> and just like the age and the uh, vein detailing on this looks just really good. See what other hands do we have here? Oh, nice. So like a special uh, holding hand. An open palm. See, we've got a couple of rested palms. With that remarkable detail on there, too. Then we have a couple of semi open fists. Then, down here in the bottom. It's actually the uh, stand post. It actually has a nice little design on there as well as the uh, Ace Miss Toys logo. Just cool. Now, this isn't metal, it's plastic, but it's still pretty neat. Uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, get the stand piece to slide through that, though. Then, we have a helpful little instruction manual. Tells us about putting on the head sculpt, brushing the hair on shadow facts, and Gandalf's beard. Putting on the cloak. Don't poke yourself with the swords. And how to thread that scabbard. Okay, so it goes... So the one loop goes in between the other two. Okay. I'm actually going to... Stuff that right back in there. And let's fix our sword and scabbard before I forget about it. So it said, loop one of them, and then this, I'm gonna, oops, want that looped around that way. That goes on. Whoops, I'm, oh no, I'm pulling it out of his belt. It wants to do the opposite of what I want it to do. And that can go in through there. There we go. Now I've supposedly done it properly. Wow, that looks fantastic. Trying to fix this in Gandalf's hand, because I noticed here his last two fingers didn't quite grip it. There we go. Whoops.
I guess he doesn't want to grip it that way. Okay. Got it. All right. There we go. Where is he? <laughs> uh, I guess before we look at shadow facts, I'll actually pull this out here. We actually get like a premium stand. The little plate on there, Lord of the Rings, Gandalf, which is very cool. And it has a little bit of like actual uh, fake turf on there, which is pretty neat. And then this piece is just going to plug. Oh, wait, is there a specific, specific way it goes on? I guess not. There we go. And then I suppose I can try to stand Gandalf on there, but then the downside of this is this is very hard to pull up and out. It's the White Wizard. I would really like them to like update and release a Sargamon. That would be cool. All right, looking great, Gandalf. Let's have you just kind of <laughs> hanging, <laughs> appearing at us from around the corner. All right, Shadow Facts. This is it right here, right? This is... Okay. <laughs> Moving on. This is the bulk of our set here. If I can get him out without messing up his hair. I'm going to try the leg here. I will say, the way they have him in this foam, he is not going to be moving. <laughs> Okay. All right. He's making his way out. Whew. Okay. Can I move this box now? Move this box out of the way. Okay. Let's actually fit you on screen here, Shadow Facts. Move these foam pieces. Protective tissue paper. We have this wonderful horse sculpt here. Shadowfax, Lord of Horses. I mean, that sculpt and painting is just great. There's sculpting in the ears, too. And the hair. He's got to be careful not to tug, tug on the hair. But the instruction manual did say to kind of... You might want to brush it out just a little bit with like a toothbrush or a small comb. But on the hooves... Trying to be very careful with this. An actual hair tail there. Yeah, I mean, that looks amazing. And, like, Shadowfax is a character in and of itself. Like, I don't just consider Shadowfax as, like, an accessory to Gandalf here. I consider Shadowfax as, like, own character. So I get, like... Two characters in one set. I get Shadowfax and I get Gandalf. 
So, I mean, this is a, an amazing set. Um, if I wanted to try posing him on onto Shadow Fax, like, Shadow Fax is the Lord of Horses. He's not going to wear a saddle. But, like, how is Gandalf's posability? Actually has very good range of motion on his arms and his legs, actually. Now the head, yeah, the head's on that on on the ball joints there. So yeah, you're gonna get good head turning movement as well. Now I'm just thinking in my head. Cue the music. But unfortunately, it's very much copyrighted. Okay. Like, I cannot, like, fit him on screen. 100%. But, yeah, I mean, we can get Gandalf on there, no problem. Although he's kind of lopsided there. There we go. Yeah, Staff doesn't fit on screen either. But, yeah, that's amazing. I love this. How I'm going to fit this into my display, I have no clue at the moment. But I think at this time, we can go ahead and move into a montage. This figure set of Gandalf and Shadowfax is fantastic. I'm loving every aspect of it, even if I don't quite have a clue how I'm going to fit this into my display. However, the detailing is remarkable. The clothing and stylization of the fabrics is very nice. The only issue out of the set was the little silver buckle holding the two ends of the cloak near the neck came undone, and it was just glued on, so I needed to come up with a way to fix it. I used a very small cut piece of double-sided fabric tape to hold it together. It holds, but barely. I elected not to use liquid adhesives on it because it might soak into the fabric and darken it. 
Otherwise, everything held up nice and looks fantastic. Gandalf's head sculpt is probably one of the most detailed I've seen of many lines and brands that I've purchased from recently. The hand-placed hair is just amazing. They did such a fantastic job on that. Another small detail I really enjoyed was the elven printing on the hilt of the sword, something easily missed unless otherwise closely inspected. Shadowfax also has a very good sculpt with nice hair, and is overall a beautiful horse. Just be very careful when taking it out of the box. Otherwise, Shadowfax is a wonderful friend of Gandalf's to include with the set. This was just phenomenal, and I look forward to more Lord of the Rings figures from Ace Miss. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment. What Lord of the Rings figures would you like to see from Ace Miss? Honestly, I'd like them to update and re-release the Hobbits. I'm missing them from my fellowship. Otherwise, I'd like to see a Gondor soldier in that heavy armor of theirs, and a crowned king version of Aragorn. Those would be epic. This has been Heartless Spartan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.